This is a look inside Brookdale Senior Living, presented by me, Brittany King. Brookdale Senior Living provides independent living, assisted living, and memory care services to seniors across the nation. Brookdale runs about 800 retirement communities, has an annual revenue of $4.97 billion, and employs about 62,550 people. Brookdale has adopted the bureaucratic management theory. As you see here, um, there are different departments within the company and the lower levels, such as the caregivers and housekeeping cooks, they report to the level above them. And then that level then reports to the executive director and then the executive director um, reports up the corporate ladder to the CEO. The departments are split based on specific roles and duties, and um, it's a hierarchical power structure. Enriching the lives of those we serve with compassion, respect, excellence, and integrity is Brookdale's mission statement. The statement is posted at the entrances of all buildings and in the break rooms and work rooms of the employees. Every employee is expected to memorize this statement and recite them at every meeting. Some symbols that represent the company culture are the art throughout the building that is created by the residents. Um, this stresses the importance of maintaining their independence and creativity. There are also photos everywhere of employees and residents smiling and having a great time together. Uh, it shows that the bonds that we build over time are very important to the company. Every month, there are some themed dinners called Friends for Life, and it encourages the residents the residents, family, and the employees to have a dinner together and socialize, and not only building, creating a stronger bond between the residents, but also with their families, is, uh, shows that that's really important to Brookdale. Because the external environment is so stable within the elder care field currently, uh, the Brookdale focuses on the internal environment. They believe that the quality of the staff and the care will maintain a full community of happy residents and family members. Brookdale has several cornerstones that emphasize the company's code of ethics, such as doing the right thing takes courage. It's more than a job, it's a passion, and we succeed through partnership. However, due to bonus incentives to stay under budget, Managers often cut corners in order to stay continuously under budget and receive bonuses on a regular basis. Kitchens have been understocked and subpar food has been served to stay under budget in the kitchen. Overtime is occasionally banned, which leaves the facility shorthanded and results in decreased care for residents, and washers and dryers remain broken for months. Families of residents contribute to employee funds for the annual Christmas party throughout the year, but if the building has consistently remained under budget for the year, corporate takes the money out of the employee fund and often the staff ends up funding the party with their own money. Every year since 2008, Brookdale sponsors and collects donations for the Alzheimer Association's Walk to End Alzheimer's and has donated about $15 million to the cause. Residents and employees show up and walk with fellow community members and support the Alzheimer's Association and initiative to end Alzheimer's disease. Brookdale has a centralized decision-making structure. Most of the time, the executive director makes the decisions for the community, with some clinical decisions being made by the registered nurse. However, both of these positions still have to follow policy and procedures set by the corporate office. I believe that centralized decision-making structure works well for Brookdale because the external environment is stable. There is no need to make rapid changes. This structure allows Brookdale to maintain control over the changes and decisions that may put the company in danger of non-compliance um, due to the healthcare-like environment needing to follow such strict rules and regulations set by the state. The communities are also divided into departments and this structure allows them to have control over all these departments that have such different skills and services available to the residents. 
Berkdahl offers a mixture of intrinsic and extrinsic rewards to obtain and retain employees as well as motivate them. The intrinsic rewards is inherent in the caregiver occupation. The caregivers feel like they're making an impact caring for uh, the elderly who can no longer take care of themselves. They also build meaningful relationships over the course of their job. Um, and they also get a sense of accomplishment with the smallest tasks, such as showers and feeding. Um, the, some of the extrinsic rewards that are offered are the common insurance packages, paid time off, 401k, tuition reimbursement. Some of the other things that I find that are a little bit more unique um, is a program called the Good People Program. It basically rewards the current employee for recruiting family and friends into the company. Then it's got monetary incentives. Also, bonuses to work extra shifts are very new. They're basically $200 a shift, um, and it's trying to encourage the temporary workers that come in off the street. In summary, Brookdale Senior Living makes sure that the seniors in their care receive quality services by subscribing to bureaucratic management theory and a centralized decision-making structure to ensure that all aspects of the company is following regulations. The company culture and its code of ethics revolves around treating the resident with respect and dignity and fosters relationships between the staff and residents. Brookdale also tries hard to maintain enough employees to provide these services by offering a mix of intrinsic and extrinsic rewards. All these company traits allow Brookdale Senior Living to compete with other senior living companies and is why Brookdale is the largest senior living provider in the nation.